with the hunts out of the way, head south. Yeah, I know I could have taken the more central area, but I always forget about that particular spot. And at this point, uh, you need to go to Miguel Sundries to get a ton of Phoenix Downs. And that's that entrance right over there that I forget about. Get ready for a start X, by the way. You might be wondering, why Phoenix Downs? That seems strange. There's a reason for that. That's the start X. New bizarre goods are available. Hmm. Well, if you have 24 or 25,000 gil, consider getting that. And of course, that doesn't even include any of the loot and stuff I got, but this is the one I need, costing 20,000. Sell all of your loot. You might be wondering, okay, where did those uh, earth crystals go? Well, there's one right there. But I know I had two of them, but that's because they have to do multiple takes sometimes. Potions are junk, get rid of them. You can get rid of them all, too. They don't have any use. Spare your Phoenix Downs, though. You definitely need those. But these you don't need. Onion arrows. Onion shot is junk. You can get rid of that. You can get rid of this, too, considering you can always buy it back. But definitely get rid of that. You can sell anything here. Except something that's got an... Except for obviously this. You can certainly sell this. You can definitely sell that. Do not sell these. This you can sell. But do not sell one of these, because you'll actually need it. Uh, okay, why that? That's strange. There's a reason for that. Shields are completely worthless, so get rid of those. Those are the only ones you want to spare of those. Flame stabs, you can get rid of all those too. Longbow, you can also get rid of that, but um, it's kind of up to you. Definitely keep this and this. Everything else, get rid of. Why spare those anyway? It's for various reasons. But this is all there is. I'll explain the reasoning later. Okay, that's as much gill as I can get. Now, buy as many Phoenix Downs as you absolutely can. I'm one short, don't you know it? I'm short of sacrificing one of these. Of course, I can always buy them back. That's what I'm going to do. Now I maxed out all the Phoenix Downs. Lucky you if you can get 99 right away. Especially if you get the Warmonger's monograph first thing. But what you need to do is you need to head off into the Wester Sand. Looks getting in my way, pointing in the wrong direction, so that helps. Moves just as I'm trying to almost lined up, just to get in my way. But luckily, in that case, it's pointing in the wrong direction. And before you do anything, make sure you save your game. After saving, continue off into the Wester Sand. The weather makes absolutely no difference. Sandstorm? Perfectly fine. Although it might slow things down ever so slightly, getting rid of the wolves along the way. Speaking of which, the sandstorm. You can tell by the heavy wind.
What you need to do is you need to head off to the northwest, or west-northwest if you want to put it that way. Maybe I can get this thing along the way, chief license point. Now, before going into that zone, you need to get down to 10% HP remaining or less. Hey, isn't that familiar? That's the Dustia method. Yep, if you've taken the Dustia method before, it's back to Dustia. Yeah. Of course, one thing you could do, that's why you needed that. Compare the difference in damage. <laughs> Close, so I'm just gonna go punch him. Punch yourself, basically. And as soon as the attack connects, yeah. immediately access the battle menu and change your equipment. It don't make a difference what you change it to, just so long as you change it. And if it causes problems, consider changing this too, but in this case, it don't make a difference. MP doesn't matter. And yes, I know, I forgot about one critical thing. Weight mode, slowest speed. Luckily, Dusty hasn't come yet. Inventory, well, that's not a necessity. Gambits, this is one thing you definitely would don't want to do. Foe nearest, foe any, nearest visible, it makes no difference at all. Just foe something, except party leader's target, and make sure you target a phoenix down. From there, you're good to go. Get over to this zone boundary line. When Dusty appears, your phoenix down will be automatically used because of your gambit system. And as soon as the phoenix down connects, bring up the battle menu to pause the action. No loot dropped. Cross the zone boundary. You have about 30 game frames, or maybe is it about 40? I'm not exactly sure, but it's really small. Basically, one second to get across that zone boundary before you won't get another dusty up. But the process is very similar. I'm only just re-explaining for those that haven't started with the dusty method. No loot again, that's not a problem. Tell him it dropped something. Okay, notice how the loot just kept dropping even with the battle menu up? Take it down and bring it back up immediately. You grab the loot, and you're on. If you didn't grab the loot, bring up the battle... Uh, take down the battle menu, approach the loot with the normal running, basically, but bring up the battle menu as quickly as possible. That way you can confirm to see if you got the loot or not. You usually just have them going up automatically by himself anyway. Well, not automatically, but I just do it anyway, just just to make sure I get the loot. It doesn't affect anything. It actually helps the odds slightly. But you see how I'm doing this? Hey, an arcana. That wasn't what Dusty had dropped before. Or was it? There's nothing but books and flame stabs. So why is it in Arcana this time? That's what the Warmage's monograph is for, and you need to get 15 Arcanas. So why are you getting the whole 99 Phoenix down? That's easy. You need to level up a lot as well. Might as well do it now while you can, considering this is now the fastest way to level up at the moment. Remember how it was a 17 chain back in the cave of Zertan and Caverns? And speaking of which, there's a chain level. Now I can get three books in one, Dustia. 
But remember how I had a 17 chain and it was still, and I just got level 3? 20 something for level 4, the max. And yet, I just finally got it at 19. Speaking of which, there's a heal and a flame staff. That's 1200 gil. That's a lot of gil. It's not really too much gil that you're after, it's leveling up. But to fix the problem with the healing loot, just punch yourself. That's all you can do. It's the easiest way to do it. Yeah. And as soon as the attack connects, change weapons again. By changing equipment, or equipment, any equipment, it doesn't have to be the weapon. I just use the weapon. Basically, all that happens is, you cancel the action. Four flame stags? Whoa, that is super rare. <laughs> well, what do you know? I got it. And yes, I maxed the chain level unintentionally. So, how far do you go? You go all the way until you use up every single phoenix down. And if you started with 99 phoenix down, when you see the chain count being 99, you're done. Oh yeah, that's not the zone. I sometimes do that. I don't know why, but I do. This is that zone. Well, that's convenient. I need to get to level 35. That's my target anyway. Can, huh? You can actually use this instead. The Mithril Sword, which is one reason why I suggested keeping it. Yeah. Considering it does almost about the same amount of damage as you otherwise end up getting healed. so many of these in a row. I had four in a row in this batch. Ha. But notice how it pretty much wastes time having to heal. If you don't do it, Dusty is not going to appear. That's MP recovery. Three flame stabs? Oh man, that was a rich, rich dusty up. Considering at this point the flame staff's actually only the 12% drop. The book is a 55%, but the Arcana is stuck at 30. Wonder why you can't get multiples of those caused from monographs in the canopy jar. That's one thing I don't get. Figures I get one last heal just before I get yeah. That is so annoying. This is really the only time you're gonna learn to hate those healing the healing loot. It's the only time. give you the idea and why it's so valuable. If 
Back to the burning bow, the fiery arrows, the traveler's vestment. Config active at the fastest. And heal yourself. You only need to do it once. In a way, when you think about it, oh yeah, this thing, it will try to heal you. But look at the difference in healing. <laughs> yeah, that thing's like nothing. 44, though? You gotta be kidding me. And you might also even consider turning off your gambit, so that way your Phoenix Downs aren't gonna be used. But then again, I'm out of Phoenix Downs, and it ain't gonna have any effect. Eh, probably should have canceled that. Here, one way, one excuse to lock it something. Of course, I could have held R2 to cancel it. I always forget about that. Back to Miguel Sundry, so that way you can get another batch of Phoenix Downs and a whole ton of gill like you have never seen before. That is, if you have not used Dustia, you might be wondering, why am I not using the move line? The reason's simple, actually. Miguel Sundries is actually closer by taking this route than it is otherwise. It's faster, I should say, because it's just straight ahead. So many books. Look at all that gill. Keep your arcanas, although you do need to spare 15s. I'm going to get rid of a few of them. And look at all these flame stabs. Whoa, that's a ton. I'm going to spare a few of them so that way others can buy these back. And get as full batch of 99 of these again, or as many as you absolutely can. And repeat the process. It was quite a haul, wasn't it? A whole bunch of gill like crazy. That's the primary advantage of Dustia, gill like you would not believe. Again, don't forget to save your game, because you definitely need it if something goes wrong. From 24 to 30 in barely 41 minutes. Game clock bug aside, it's actually more like 45 or 46 minutes. Game clock bug? Eh, I'll explain that near the end of the whole series. Sounds like I got cloudy sky this time. Not the blue sky, not the sandstorm, but cloudy. See? Cloudy. Yeah. And it's kind of funny. How are you able to get so powerful from nothing more than handing an enemy a phoenix down? That is so weird. And whatever you do, do not use your burning bow to do the initial damage. You can, but uh, one critical hit and it's game over. And of course, you only lose about 30 seconds of progress. Whoopee. Oops. Yeah, I forgot to reset that. Yeah! How could you block your own attack? It is so funny. Huh. 
Yeah. Exit the menu too quickly, unexpectedly. So, that's no problem. As long as you do it quickly enough, you can adjust that. Turn the gambits back on. And just resume. The second round of dust is and here recovery, don't have to worry about that. I'm getting so many HP heals in this one, it's almost ridiculous. I even ended up having a case where I had a combo going. It blocked the first attack, second attack was going in, and the third attack was just about to hit, which would have caused the game over, but I changed equipment, and guess what happened? It the combo was stopped. <laughs> That's why you need to change the equipment. But one more dusty and I'm can be done at the this is kind of in the average range. Setting of parameters and stuff. Burning gambits off, although in this case, since I'm out of Phoenix Downs, it ain't gonna matter. Get the burning bow back. Fiery arrows. This. And just so you know, yeah, that's those coins dropping it. And yes, over a thousand license points. Just stock up for, you know, 